Right, so I uh, just got my gamo pellet gun in, um, but first, uh, make sure to go up, click the three buttons, and um, go to, it will probably say auto 240 or 140. If the quality of the picture is really bad, just go to 480 or 360 um, P or whatever it is. Uh, just make sure to do that, uh, get the full experience out of this video. Um, but right now, Gamma Swarm Maxon, talk, topic. Um, extraordinary package for $200. Um, I would say probably one of the best $200 guns on the market. I mean, I'm not, it, it's not like I, I, it's not like I have any other $200 guns other than one that's very old. But um, this gun comes to us from Barcelona, Spain, which is where Gamo is stationary, is stationed in. Um, their headquarters are in. Um, <sighs> Um, but let's talk a little bit about the stock. We're going to go from this end to this end. This is what I always do. Um, so I've tried taking these out, these weird gel things. They feel really good, sure, but it doesn't really change anything. I mean, it's just as good a shot as it is without it. So, um, I haven't really tested the theory about that, but I mean, I tested it once and... I took all of the three of them out and didn't, I took one, two, and three, didn't really do anything. I mean, you're going to get the same accuracy. It just feels kind of good to squish them around sometimes. Okay, now, uh, if you didn't already know this, I think, well, with my Gamma Varmint, which I can go get, um, the stock is hollow. So, you, I mean, it's not really made for it, but you can put stuff in there. I mean, you can, like a survival kit or something if you want. Now hold right here um if you're an adult this is a lot easier if you're a kid it's not so easy um it's a big grip but i can still shoot perfectly fine with it i end up putting my thumb right here every time and just going like this kind of like like that so just hold up a pistol and mold it like that so thumb pistol you see um and then scope so Scope is actually pretty good. This right here, the effort to turn this is very easy. So you can make quick. You can go, boom, there's a squirrel far farther away. Or, oh, I have it zoomed in too far. A lot of the scopes, you have to go and kind of wrench it. And it kind of wears on the scope. Um, this rail is, I can't say this for sure, but it's held up so far. I've shot it about Shot this gun about a hundred times. I've tried tried to get to learn it so I could get the full so you guys could get the full experience review everything about it. Um, uh, these actually aren't that tight. Um, it comes with a really weird Allen wrench and it's hard to hold and it's loose. Um, I don't know what that's all about. Okay, on to the trigger. I'm not kidding you. This is the best trigger I have ever pulled in my entire entire life i of course i haven't pulled that special of triggers but this i've i've made the second stage a little bit shorter um so it's just a little easier this is just so smooth it's like two and a half pounds or something like that um it's just amazing the manual safety is really nice if um if if you're just shooting you want to Oh yeah, okay, I'm on safe. I'm on safe. I need to go on fire. Oh, okay. On fire. Uh, which I'm on safe right now. Um, so uh out of my hundred shots, this screw right here was a little loose, but I tightened it. You always want to just make sure these are tight. Uh just give you better accuracy overall. I mean, you don't want this barrel even a little bit loose. Now, the biggest thing about this gun, the Gen 2 swarm technology. Now, I have a few things to specify about this. Um, the magazine placement especially. Um, gosh, my nose is just... Um, so, it's kind of confusing. Uh, or at least it was for me when I first tried it out. So, there's this little... Okay, so this side right here 
it says 10x and it's got this weird hole that's where you load it and then also this is face down and then also this part right here it will be placed okay so it's right here and it will be placed like this right there against um against everything um and then these two spikes will be above it oh shoot <laughs> These two spikes right here will be just above it. Um, you want this face down, like I said, and then you want it diagonal when you're doing this, and then you just push in, boom, it snapped in. And then also how to take it out, there's this right here. Um, it's the thing that's the spring, it snaps everything, it makes that snap noise. You just push that back, and take it out just like that um super easy to reload you just um take a pellet just like this take a pellet and then <sighs> grab um and put it in like this um and then you just keep on it's a rotary magazine so you just keep on turning it and it locks up on your pellet um, if you don't have a pellet in there it goes back i'll show you that so if you turn it this isn't very important but if you turn it like this let me see oh yeah that pellet was just in the way if you turn it like if you turn it like that and there is no pellet in there it goes back to the other one now if you turn it oh shoot <laughs> keeps on coming out okay and then if you turn it and then put a pellet in, though. So I've got a, <laughs> got a pellet in there. It does not go back to the other one. So let's just turn this. It also tells you how many pellets you have in there. I've got three right now. I'm going to completely um, fill this up. For tomorrow which I've got a Super Bowls tomorrow so I'm not gonna be able to shoot that much and then it's school which sucks but I'll shoot tomorrow definitely um, but I am just loading this mag and there's really no secret tricks to it um, to make anything more accurate just biggest secret to accuracy in a pellet gun absolutely it, uh the pellet your gun likes it's 100 percent. now i've got a um point to make oh my gosh <laughs> so i've got a point to make about um different pellets seems to me that the crossman the crossman hollow points i use jsb match diablos i use jsb heavies I used H and N Sports. Um, I use even snipers, and sniper lights, and sniper heavies. I think. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I my pellets are in my closet. Um, I used a lot. I I used a whole bunch of pellets, and those were the best performing. But the Crossman Hollow Points were the best for this, and this pellet does not want to go in very bad. So I'm just gonna push it through. Shoot. That sucks. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay. <sighs> um, but I, I want to get that point through that the cheapest pellets you can probably buy are working the best out of this gun. And that's why I wouldn't disclude the cheap pellets. Um... I mean, I used to, and then in my Gamma Varmint, they were cheap, uh, and I used them. I was like, I, I tried them out, and I'm like, holy smokes, these work? Yay. <laughs> they generally work good across every pellet gun that I've ever used. Um, generally, I mean, I can't say they work amazing in every gun, but they work amazing in this one. Now, this is the roller nut of this gun. I took it apart. 
wiped all the factory oils off of it. And of course, I got, forgot to put that on. Um, but I gotta put that on, so I might as well show you guys. Um, so, it's super simple. You just gotta unscrew these two um, stock screws right here, one and two. And then there's one screw right here that you have to unscrew. So I'm gonna get to work really quickly. Um, and so I tightened these really good. Um, these are big screws too. Um, but okay, so onto the barrel. Uh, the caulking effort is way harder than 177 because you have to push a way heavier, a uh, two times heavier pellet. Um, close to as fast and that's not very easy by any means whatsoever now you shouldn't judge how good a pellet gun is by speed a ton of speed is not good unless you're looking for a ton of power and no accuracy some pellet guns do offer good speed with very good accuracy like the magnum you have the right pellets on the magnum even with a 22, that goes a thousand feet per second with a 22 caliber, a thousand one hundred feet per second. Um, you can check that out on Shooting Gear Reviews. Um, ben Pearson, awesome dude. Um, he went, he shot 22 pellets through the chronograph, and they were getting 1100 feet per second with I think it was a 14 grain pellet, something like that. Um, I can't remember the brand either. I think it was. Um, I think it was, I think it was Gamma, Gamma pellets, which I have good luck with the Gamma rockets and the the Gamma red fires. If your if your gun's good with the Gamma red fires, for some reason they're just super good at long range. Um, but now I'm on to this screw right here. No, no, I still got one screw. No, no, <laughs> never mind. Um, got all my tools right here, easily accessible. I just gotta find the one that I need. It's right here, right? Yeah. Oh, great nugget. <laughs> I know, it's probably one of the weirdest words you've ever heard. So I'm going to have to go get a different um, a screwdriver. Uh, I'll be back. Um, but one last thing. its I think it's 40 pounds of caulking. Oh my goodness gracious. 40 pounds of caulking effort. Um... People say these suppressors and stuff don't work, but they work. My gamma varmint's probably 95 decibels. This is probably 75. So it's a huge difference. Uh, my gamma varmint's right over here. This is a extremely shotgun. I've probably shot it 10,000 times in the last year. So I've only owned it nine months, so... But this is a very, very used gun. I mean, bringing it up like this, right to there, hang, it hangs up a little bit, and then goes. But um, I'm going to go grab a screwdriver. Um, but that Gamma Varmint explains how much fun a 177 cal can be. Um, especially squirrel hunting. I mean, they're perfect guns for squirrel hunting. Um, but a 22 beats them. So... I mean, your choice. Here we go. I've got my pellet gun. I've got all, everything that I need. Got the scope. Mm. But all I need to do is just put this roller nut back in place, which this is the roller nut right here. Just tiny little hard piece of plastic. You just put it back on. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, I just put it back on, like literally on the camera. It's that quick, yeah. It's very simple to do this type of stuff. All you have to do is just unscrew those screws. Don't be afraid. Just watch. Okay, so I've got a video, and it's cleaning my Gamma Varmint. Just go watch that. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, just watch that tutorial. I'm doing it. And you'll find out how to correctly... Do everything. Uh, I might not have the best camera angles. I don't have an overhead, which really bites my butt, but that's not, um, 
it's not it's it's mandatory right now so i might and i might not um but you just have to screw the stock screws in um and then you're good you're good to go other than the one that goes on the trigger guard which the trigger guard on this does not come off on the trigger the trigger guard on ammo varmint does come off so there's a difference in there's a difference um this one only has one screw that one has two uh but it's all the same uh just take out these three screws and you're 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 set and be careful uh, taking this out, I found out it was a little hard to do it. Um, just make sure it won't hit anything, which is the worst thing that could happen. There's some pretty fragile stuff in here, as you can probably imagine. So, um, yeah. Just be careful when you're taking it out. And I would just lift it up a little bit, give it some space, and then just tug a little bit on the end of the scope, and it should come loose. Um, eventually, just don't add too much pressure too quick, otherwise it will just pop out at your face. And trust me, my friend has been hit by one of these, and he did not like the consequences of how bad it hurt. Um, I actually hit myself too, so I'm just trying to blame him for something that I did. But, um, he did do it too. So, um, it's mutual. Uh, but this is really all I have to say for this part. I mean, it's very, it's that simple. Um, I'm more of a gun nut, but I'll shoot my bow. I love shooting my bow. I'm just a pellet gun nut to the max. I'm like Keith Warren. Pellet gun nut, even though he never posts anything about pellet guns. Um, but, I mean, his channel is about hunting and you can do hunting, but his is mainly about big game hunting, which is better than small game hunting. In some people's minds, it's like nothing compared to big game... I mean, it's nothing compared to small game hunting, big game hunting. But, um... To me, I'd rather go... You know, for the experience, I'd rather go big game hunting. For the action and the excitement... Well, the adrenaline is so high. I mean, it's just like uh, big game hunting when you actually get on something. Especially something big. Like a big buck or a big bull elk. Or whatever you're hunting, a big tom turkey. Speaking of tom turkeys, this tom right here, he's gonna kill, he, he gonna get, he gonna get, he probably shouldn't use that word. Yeah, probably shouldn't use that word. He gonna get I'm gonna get a turkey sear for I'm going to Idaho for like the second time I've ever hunted on private which is sweet but um last time I went there I killed a turkey in the first six minutes of shooting light so oh yeah that's way nicer um coming up like this this final stage is a little hard because that's I have my arm isn't very long it's way up there. I like the slimmer um, barrel to the Gamma Varmint. Um, but this is perfectly fine. It's a heavier caulking effort, like I've said. Um, other than that, just clean this up. Make sure to clean your inside of the barrel, which I was not able to do. I even watched the tutorial on how to do it. And I tried exactly what Ben Pearson on Shooting Your Review said. I did not have any results. I didn't want to shove anything down there um, with the baffles in the way, so I didn't. Uh, you, I ha actually had an experience where I almost had to owe my friend 130 bucks that I didn't even do it. Well, I did it, but I almost had to owe my friend 120 bucks for a Gamo Rocket Whisper. Um, we tried to clean his gun and it got caught in the baffles. And I was like, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. So I tried to I tried to get it out and it wouldn't come out. And then finally he got it out, which was just a sigh of relief for me. But I want to check the O-ring on this, actually. Um, people say 
the um People say the baffles in this don't work. They work, guys. They work, okay? Like I said, I said this. This is about 95 decibels. It's loud. This is like a whisper. Like, seriously, this is like a whisper. And this is like a... The gamble arm, it's like a yelling. That's how loud it is. It's like huge. Um, I'll test how many decibels it is, but a lot of the swarm, like swarm fusion, that's 75 decibels. I'm thinking that's about what this is. I can actually go test that right now. Um, I will do that, but um, that kind of concludes this part of the video. It's a long video, I know, but it's a detailed review, so... Uh, that's really all I have to say right now. Let's get on to the shooting, the everything. So else. I got the weirdest results ever for the decibel testing. So my first shot, mm -hmm. um, my first shot, it was 103 decibels. And I was like, what the heck? So I shot again, 103 decibels. So I was getting an average of 102.6. So I got 103.7, 103.7, 103. 103.7, 103.7, 2.4, 104.6, and then uh, another shot, and it was 1, 103.7. Um, I don't know how this is even possible. Um, I'm going to fire my Gamma Varmint, and I'm going to compare it, but considering that my, I was stepping down my stairs um, completely normally, and it was 60 decibels, I just wanted to see a comparison, but I mean, it's, it's not that loud. It's not loud. Um, I don't, I don't know why it's a hundred decibels. I mean, that should not be because I mean, I had a different app that sucked because I mean, it said that this was getting 75 decibels and it is not 75 decibels. Let me tell you that. Um, this thing is a loud pellet gun. I'm going to go test this pellet gun out. And uh, see a comparison on the guns. Um, this is this is surprising results. I'm glad I did it, um, but I I think that a hundred decibels is like equal to I don't know. I have to uh, so I'll look it up and see uh, what a hundred decibels is equal to. Um, but I'm going to go test this out, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so, yet again, surprising results. Wasn't much louder, but to the ear, it's much, much, much louder. 112 decibel average with a max of 119 decibels. It's much louder than that. It's much, much louder than that. To the ear. Um, it's, oh yeah, um... 100 decibels is equal to, I think it said 10 wolf bells or something. Probably tiny bells, um, like from a church or something, uh, playing at the same time. So, like, ding! So, not so loud, but I don't get how it's 100 decibels. Holy smokes. I'm being honest, it sounds really quiet. So, that's... So all I'm going to say, it sounds really quiet. It's not a free app that I'm using, so I don't get it. But um, my editing software is not free any either, so. Um, but I am going to get some groupings, um, and you guys will see that I am going to do 15 yards um, for now. Uh, just in the night, uh, really quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my pad, and we'll get right to it.
Okay, upon final analysis, um, let's see, um, seven out of the ten are within a one-inch group. Uh, probably three, the last three are probably a little bit of flyers now. I'm not going to say they were definitely flyers. I think they were maybe a little bit messed up pellets or something like that. Um, but I had to shoot quick. But um, upon analysis, I think that was a good grouping. Um, this is why I recommend this gun. Um, I recommend it to anybody that's looking for a gun that can open up some wounds and have some fun in the backyard. But I could recommend the Gamma Varmint more. It's not like this is a Gamma Varmint review, which I've mentioned the Gamma Varmint a lot in the video. But um, it's, it's hard to not get off topic. I mean, I've got a lot of talk about Well, I've got a lot of talk about. Um, but if you're going to want to um, have something to hunt with, take that Gamma Swarm Max and 22. If you're going to want something to just flink with, and maybe hunt with occasionally. Take the Gamma Varmint or take the... Uh, don't take the... Don't buy the Gamma Varmint. I've actually got a better suggestion. Buy the Gamma Rocket Whisper. Amazing gun. Uh, my friend has one. And he was hitting squirrels out of trees that were 45 yards. That the squirrels, we were quite far away from the tree. They were way up in the tree. And he was just first shot killing them um and then also at 25 yards a squirrel gave me a shot where it was just his head i used his gun because my gun wasn't functioning properly and that's when i learned that it was jammed and the uh o-ring was out um but uh just aim for the head if you check my instagram out it's one of those uh photos and one of the squirrels is pretty graphic can't show that on here uh not like i'm monetized or anything um, but, uh, I hit him in the head and pretty graphic, but, uh, you can go check that out. Um, uh, my Instagram is, uh, my outdoors frontier. Um, I post quite a few times. I just got it. So, um, hopefully that will do pretty good, but I'll see you, uh, next video, um, which will probably be, um, a hunting video next week because Super Bowl's tomorrow. I'm not going to be around to hunt squirrels tomorrow down at the river. Otherwise, I would. Um, but, so I'll see you next video.